So today we're um, checking out Lego Collection. No, um, actually we're checking out Mini PC because this PC apparently claims to be just as powerful as one of the big boys right here. That's right, this small little box here claims to be just as powerful as one of the big machines. So um, I'm sure you all know by now that I have a Minecraft server and that's what all these computers are that run back here. You can find the information for that down in the description. Um, it's a little loud though, that's, that's, I guess that's fair. Um, but that's what these computers are that go back here. Um, they're not just back here for looks uh, or to waste electricity. Um, you guys play on them, you guys use them. So I think the best test for this PC, especially if it's claiming to just have as much processing power as the big ones, is to test it like a Minecraft server. And so today we're gonna be checking out the Morphine PC um, and we're going to be, of course, uh, testing it just like the big computers here. See how well it performs. So let's open this up. So first off, we have the mini PC itself. With this Ryzen 9 5000 series on the front. Nice little felt top. And then the bottom here in the box. We have the power brick itself, which is actually kind of beast beefy. I believe this is a rack mount or ability to mount this on your wall. So the other cool thing about this little mini PC is that it's equipped with, um, well, most importantly, it's equipped with an uh, integrated graphics, which means it is an AMD system. While it has eight cores, 16 threads, all that fun stuff, um, it does not need an external display to set that stuff up. It also looks like it comes with a nice little SATA adapter as well. So if you want to add additional SSDs. So let's uh, plug this all up real quick. Just go right ahead and open this up. First off, small form factor. A couple cool features as well. That you have a uh, one gig and 2.5 gig ports on the back, as well as two displays, um, HDMI and display port, as well as two sets of two USB ports on the back. So as a server, this is what we're going to be using to home host our Minecraft server. Um, you've got a couple important details. Uh, for the first part, um, you want fast RAM for your uh, Minecraft server. Um, and these are, I believe, 16 gig sticks, um, but they are um, crucial 16 gig sticks and they're 3200 megahertz. So um, additionally, we have a one terabyte SSD. So first up, I wanted to do some testing with just the built-in graphics and the CPU just to see how well it would play Minecraft. Because basically that's what I'm doing is we're doing kind of a hardcore testing. So I installed some shaders, uh, got those set up. So this is running at about 60 FPS at 1080p. Um, but keep in mind, this is actually rather good. Um, 1080p with shaders. Um, these are rather light, but still, um, shaders are pretty intensive. My 3060 Ti uh, struggles at least with shaders. So I think this is a rather good test of just testing the performance of how well the PC runs Minecraft. Um, I do think if you wanted to get into more serious games, you definitely would have to add a graphics card in there. Um, you can go through and put a PCIe adapter in there to the M.2 slot. And of course, get a PCIe lane out of that, install a graphics card on there. Um, but for the most part, what I've seen at least in my testing is that like if you're you know you could pretty much run minecraft while also running your multiple other servers and not have any issues um especially if you're just trying to find something that's small quiet and compact to maybe sit next to your router or something um you know uses a pc uses a server um this really seems to do a good job with that next up i just want to show you how well this computer performs as a server so the test that i'm going to show you or some of the information i'm going to show you is related to the computer being acting like a server and not necessarily playing Minecraft, how well it's doing at just keeping up with everything. Things to keep in mind is 20 is about how all, the maximum speed, 20 with a star means that it's running as great as possible. Um, and uh, yeah, outliers is, this is relatively good information. So CPU usage, um, heck we're running three Minecraft servers with however many people on, 22 people online. And uh, this is, you know, performance wise, this is not really using much, especially with what, like eight people, 10 people online, absolutely great. So performance wise, these numbers really, really do check out, especially when, you know, when you have all these people on. Now the biggest thing about Minecraft servers is they are very RAM hungry. 
and having the ability to have up to 64 gigs of RAM, especially on such a small form factor, is great. Um, my only complaint with the entire PC, however, would just be that I wish they had the ability to have uh, maybe another set of DIMMs. So there's only two slots for so DIMMs, uh, make it four. And that way you can max out, I think, to 128 gigs of RAM on the, the Ryzen 5th gen. Um, so that would be great to have that ability to um, get 128 gigs and get full usage out of the CPU. But for the time being, yeah, with that much CPU usage going on, it's absolutely awesome. Well, I've had it up here for a bit. Um, it's been sitting here for a couple weeks, actually. Been busy with school. And uh, I have uh, have some things to say about it. So first off, uh, as a Minecraft server, we've ended up moving a couple things over to it. Um, people have been playing on it for the last couple weeks. And it's actually like worked really well. Um, I've been pleasantly surprised with, you know, of course, the amount of performance you're getting in such a small package. Now, a couple comments I want to make is, number one, when I got this out of the box, um, for some reason, the SSD that came in it, um, for some reason, just wasn't registering. Uh, I couldn't pick up that there was an SSD in there, and I was getting some weird errors with it. So when I contacted them, of course, they sent me another one, a different brand, I think a Micron Crucial or something like that, and um, worked fine now. One terabyte, great. Comments for Minecraft server. Um, two things. This uh, micro piece or mini PC or whatever has the ability to have a hard drive or a 2.5 inch disk of some kind, SSD, etc., as well as an M.2 drive. The fact that it comes with a one terabyte um, makes it really good for, you know, having the server, uh, your Minecraft server is running on the SSD, and then you could store something in a large form, you know, style hard drive um, by getting like a couple four or five terabyte um, 2.5 inch spinning disk and have all your backups on there. So it makes it really, really, really convenient. Um, additionally, uh, I have 64 gigs of RAM in this small form factor, and it is pretty dang impressive. These Both these machines back here run Minecraft servers, and they are pretty much equivalent in performance to this small thing right here, which that should show you how much you know I can appreciate the small form factor. Um, my only complaint, of course, is that like I would have preferred to have the ability to install my operating system, um, especially because like no nowadays when you pay for you know these bit you know, ex expensive mini PCs, um, I actually just needed Linux on here, and um, rather than having to pay for the whole Windows suite of stuff, because um, then you're pretty much getting rid of the license. I don't believe they have the license um, embedded on the board yet, so um, that means that you're kind of burning a a good Windows license, um, especially you know that's I don't like doing that, um, so. Yeah, comments pretty much is that, you know, you might have issues with the SSD. I don't know how that would work if you are not in contact with the company. Um, and I think they should be resolving that. I've had recent correspondence with companies uh, that have a mini PC. They basically told me straight out of the gate that there's a problem with this um, and we're recalling it. So please just send us the PC back. And I turned it on. It worked fine. Uh, so just, just keep in mind that, like, some disparity between, you know, the SSD doesn't work, which I think is pretty a pretty big deal. You're paying for a terabyte SSD and it's not working, um, versus you know that. But besides the SSD, everything works fine. And you also post a link, the information in the description, on how you can actually join the Minecraft server to test it, what servers are running on this over here, and um, basically that way you can play on it, see how much you like you know playing on it. Um, so roughly, you could run about. Um, I would say probably 10 different servers. If you have the 64 gigabytes, you can probably get six or so gigabytes each. Um, and you could probably set that up that way. And you could have six gigabytes per server core. And then yeah, you could pretty much run a couple Minecraft servers. Also, I think that this is pretty powerful what you're doing. Um, you can probably run, um, I'd guess, probably about up to 150 people on a Minecraft server um, if you were just to utilize the full thing. So this is capable of running about 150 people on a minecraft server at a time and uh, i definitely think that that's admirable especially given the specs of 64 gigs terabyte ssd and the eight cores 16 threads um i know that doesn't seem like a lot given what you're paying for but um keep in mind minecraft servers especially java ones tend to be extremely optimized and um they don't they don't work so nicely <laughs> especially even with nice hardware so uh thank you very much for watching and i hope you've had a uh enjoyed my little review of the Morphine PC. Um, I actually personally like it. Um, it's a little loud at times. Sometimes it ramps up. I don't know, it might just get hot all of a sudden, spike in CPU usage. Don't know, but um, it does ramp up and it does get kind of loud. Surprised it hasn't done it during the video. That'd be great timing. Um, but yeah, no, I, I enjoy it. 
Um, minus the issues with the hard drive, which are the SSD, which I got resolved. Um, that's my only issues with it there. Performs great. Yeah, it does a really good job, and I like how it looks. It looks pretty cool. And it's small. Small things are good, okay? Have a good one.